Okay, so this is day two of this demonstration of snow in Roger Williams Park in Providence. So what I did was, um, my photograph was just so dark. It was such a, you know, a bright sunny day with the snow reflecting so much. It made all the shadows in my painting just so dark. I couldn't even see what was going on. So I, using Snapseed, that free Google photo editing app on my um, iPad or your iPhone, I just lightened up the shadows. So I didn't change anything about the lights or the, I mean, I guess it decreased the contrast a little bit, but there's still a lot of contrast because it was such a, um, there was way too much contrast in the painting. I really couldn't see any of this. Um, and now this whole line of trees is not quite such a solid blank wall. Um, okay, so now I'm ready to start my color. I sprayed it really strongly and I sprayed it on a warmer day. So I think I had more success with my fixative. And now I'm ready to start my color and I'm going to start with the sky. And I did uh, manage to get all my stuff cleaned up so I can start with new colors, not be sort of, um, you know, constricted by the colors I've already used, but try to find the best color now. Um, of course, now what I really wish is I had all those colors I used before because who can tell what's going to be the best color? Oh, oh gosh, I got to turn on another light. So that's just going to take a second. Okay, and um, now I'm ready to start. And I chose not to redraw. Um, it didn't seem really necessary. But I did, I did think about it, just so you know. I looked at it and made a choice not to redraw. And I am drawing a little bit with my pastel. And my goal, as always, is to try to make it better. And also after I spray it, my other goal is to try to bring out the lights. And to that end, I think we're going to work on my snow next. And um, I think I'm just going to go with the white. Um, maybe I shouldn't have gone with the white back here. Maybe I should have kept a little bit of a darker snowy thing going on back here. But I'm hoping that I get away with it just by pressing down harder on my snow here in the foreground. And I'm making my snow strokes follow the land 
the direction of the land. And I think I'm going to um, just come back here and knock that white down a little bit that's in the distance here. And I just didn't do this up here. I think I'm going to use a, this a very, very light yellow. Whoa. <laughs> Probably too yellow, but I'll come over it. Keep this snow here in the foreground a little darker too than the snow is going to be in the shadows because more value contrasts will um, pop things forward <clears throat> and less value contrasts will make things go farther away. Yeah, it's not really like that in the picture, but you know what? I kind of think I like it like that. So I think I'm going to leave it like that for now anyway. And then the snow on my rocks or whatever is in the water. Um, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to... Wow, I still feel like I can't really see what's going on in there, but there is some... Um, there's some shrub bushy things right here and then there's a little snow kind of coming around on this little islandy thing or peninsula or whatever it is it was so cold the day i took these pictures that i did not linger um, and look around i just i knew it was going to rain the next day and get a lot warmer so i really wanted to get out and take pictures before before what snow there was melted I wanted to give some suggestion of the um, shadows on the snow from the tree trunks. And actually, I was thinking, oh, I'd put the tree trunks in next and then make little shadows, but then I didn't. Okay, so I got some snow here and um, And then this, um, the clump, the top of that is in the white. I'm just, I'm worried about going too light too fast, so I'm kind of looking around for a darker olive green. Something like that. And these guys over here on this edge, I, I don't want them to take you out of the picture, so I'm, I'm trying to make sure I sort of point in with my, um, my lights on that with my little um, twiggy thingies. So maybe something like that for the moment. And then, um, so I feel like I still don't know what's going on. And what I was mentioning about was that I didn't spend very long standing here 
And this, this particular place is not a place I've ever painted before. I have painted in this garden, which is really great. It's a great place for painting, but I haven't painted right in this spot. So I really just don't know what's going on here. And I really just can't tell what's going on. Um, but there are some these little weed things. Oops, that was That is not what I thought it was. I thought that was my dark blue. The shape looked right, but the color was not right. I feel like I'm sort of back to seeing these um, these verticals in the water, so I'm just going to go with that for the moment, and then um, to see what happens next. Or maybe they're just really vertical here in the shadowy parts, and then they're going to be more horizontal in the light parts. I don't know. It's a mystery. Well, I just want something. I want something that's more than what I've got in that water. Something, something brighter. <laughs> Yeah, I wish I'd started with that kind of magenta color. But I'm just going to knock it down a little bit and hope hope it still comes through some. Oh, and there's going to be a bunch of reeds right here, so I'm not going to really actually do any more right there. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to work on the trees next. And so that's going to be my new kind of darkest part of the tree. Um, I think it has, I think there's red in it too. So I should have started with the red. And then um, the tree that's closest to me. Well, really, this is the tree that's going to be closest to me, but I was thinking the closest on this side. I'm going to put some more light on it because it, it does have a light side. So, And then um, back in here, too, the trees, the light is hitting them again. And I want to put more sky in up here at the top. Sky holes. I 
I think maybe I should try a little tiny bit lighter blue right at that, at the horizon. Um, every time I enter, there's a the art organization, one of the organizations I belong to here, the Wickford Art Association. When I enter a painting there, I have to say, like, what is the style? And um, so I always, I always say realistic, but um, I'm not really, really a realistic painter. It's, it's really pretty much, it's an impression. Um, I'm not trying to exactly, I'm really trying to get the color right. That's my main thing here, um, the, the, the spots of color. And so I'm, I'm not actually tr I'm not, and maybe I'm just saying this because I, I just can't seem to get it exactly right. But there's, there's other people that might have higher priorities for realism than I do. And some of you guys are so good at it. And that's why I feel like I'm having to make excuses uh, for myself when I'm, uh, know that you're gonna, my class is gonna watch this and um, how good so many of you are at realism. So um, my, my priority is color and I guess composition. And um, I just, I don't know, I just can't seem to do some of the other stuff. Um, like get this exactly how it is, or these guys, some of you guys are so great. Some of my students are so great at weeds. And um, no, I'm not really all that good at it. All right, so let's see what we can do about this tree. Kind of try to pay attention here because it's it is cool shapes of this against the sky and try to make them have a little variety oops All right, finally, after two and a half years of doing this, I had a genius idea this morning, or yeah, no, it's noon, I don't know what it is, but I decided I was gonna mark my easel so I could get my, because different times I changed my easel, the height of it and stuff, so I've, I have marked my easel so I can come back and, um, and actually get it exactly the right height as my last demonstration so I don't always have to be uh, fiddling around with my um, my camera, my camera tripod, always trying to move it and stuff. So yes, she she's still learning stuff here. I just took a sharpie and I marked all the places and I marked my board, so now I know how to get it right back in the same spot each time. Hoo hoo. One thing I love about this part of the um, Roger Williams Park is there are so many different kinds of pine and fir trees, and they just, every one has got really different kinds of needle clumpings. So I guess that's something else that interests me is just, well, the shapes of things. I really have to remember to try not to whistle while I've got my microphone here.
Okay, I'm gonna lighten that tree up too, right there. And I have to break off a piece. I didn't really want to. Oh, yeah, because of that right there, because these pieces, this pastel is so soft. So look at that. I just did not want this to, um, so I see if I can hit that a little harder again. Definitely want this tree to come in front and that other one to go back a little more. Okay, pretty miserable. Okay, that's a little better. I don't know, I just feel like that light, it doesn't make sense what it's doing right there. So I'll see if I can. down at all. I don't know why. The one side of it was like hard as a rock. So just trying to get that silhouette against the sky and also trying really hard not to get the sky too light because it's, it's really dark. See, it looks like clouds or something now. All right, well, we'll come back to that later. And I kind of wonder, this is, I can't quite really see this, but I wonder, should I make some, a little bit of lights on the, sides of some of my trees there. Okay. So I'm going to say I'm really done with that up there for the moment. I've got to do something about this dang rock.
doesn't exactly look like a rock. But I always find that um, the more I worry about how I'm not making something look like the thing it is, the more trouble I get into. So I, I try really hard not to think about, oh my God, I cannot make it look like a rock or a tree or whatever the other, whatever it is. I really try to think about how do I get the shape better? Like, what is that shape? And if I have to, I just can always come back and redraw with my charcoal at any time. Or, you know, in the words of the great Wolf Khan, paint things that don't have names. The good thing, too, about painting or drawing things that don't have names is that then you can't tell yourself that it's something you can't do. If, because, you know, I don't have a name for that little shape right there. I could tell myself I can't draw a rock. But I can't really tell myself very convincingly that I can't draw that funny little shape right in there. And then once you have these things, be sure you always come back last. Um, anything that's like in the snow, in the water, be sure the snow is that last stroke so that it really feels like it's in the snow and not just sitting on top of it. I just try to tidy things up a little bit here with my um, my shadows from my um, my little clumps of grasses. They make sure they make some sort of sense, like what is casting those shadows. Okay, and I have um, another rock over here, which I've kind of lost track of, so I, I'm going to draw it back into. And I think I'll go ahead and draw the rocks in the river, too, because I'm... Oh, there is one right here that I never saw before. Where did you come from? You're not down here. Right. Okay. All right. So um, reads, little read things, and reflections and shadows. Oh, the dang rock, too. Okay. 
right, I, still, I think I have to have a little purple in my snow. So just let that prove to you, never make rules like don't put purple on a sunny day. That white escaped from me. Right, I see. I see now that I'm looking at this up a lot closer, I can see um, what is kind of going on and why the water looks um, so different. It's it's partly it's frozen. So I don't know if I can get a sense of the parts of the rose water that are frozen and the parts that are running or not. Usually I kind of think it's a mistake to zoom in. Um, on your picture when you're working from a picture because then it's like you see too much. Um, you see more than you would ever see when you were outdoors. But I, I did just feel like I just could not see what was going on here. Okay, back to the big picture.
So it's, um, yeah, I just got to try to remember not to use the same color to everywhere. Or maybe it's the same amount of the same color everywhere. Seems like there's some purple in there, too. Too light, too light, too light. So I just want to make sure all my little thingies here, my little grasses are really stuck in the snow. does not look like a rock. <laughs> it looks like a whale. I'm not going to leave it charcoal. I was just sort of checking it out. I feel like the charcoal, if you do something like that, leave a big area of charcoal. I've had the experience where um, that the charcoal fell off the, off the paper worse than the pastel and got a lot of charcoal on the mat. So 
I, I don't do that anymore. And then I need to put the snow up over the edge again. And maybe put some of these guys in front of it again. Yeah, see, I keep, it's that edge back there. Um, The edge between that, um, this keeps looking like an edge of the snowbank to me. And, and um, like when I just sort of am looking around and seeing stuff that, wow, where is the light? I'll make these guys shorter. See, I just, I don't know, I don't like that. Because I don't want you, I don't want attention to be brought by, back there. So um, I just think I'm going to get rid of that rock and just make it sort of cloudy, or not cloudy, snow, uh, snow and shadow. Okay, I, th I think I like that better. I still haven't really made um, these guys, they don't exactly, they don't have like an internal consistency, uh, which just means that, what it really means for me is that there's too much stuff overlapping. And I can't seem to make what I want to be behind behind and what I want in front in front. So. So I'm just going to lie about that. Because I know red will come forward. And see what I can do back here to make that go back. Maybe. That's one of my favorite things right here is where the, but you know, you don't always get to have your favorite things, but um, where the light is hitting on these um, here, right here, light is hitting on the edges of those things right there. All right, I just feel like my trees are a little solid, so.
don't exactly want to make sky holes. I just want to make sky peaks or something. And I know it didn't really, I've got these charcoal lines here. All right, I'm going to call it quits.